<laughs> Welcome to the Tucson Village Farm Harvest Festival. My name is Cheryl Lynch Schmidt and I work here at Tucson Village Farm at the University of Arizona Extension. I'm the agricultural chef that does the two table for the seed to table project here at, at the Extension office of Tucson Village Farm. So as you see before you here at our, for our harvest festival, we've harvested a lot of these items um, for the harvest festival to show people that um, healthy food is very easy and very inexpensive. So it starts with herbs. Herbs always enrich every kind of cooking. Um, herbs are delicious. They're very inexpensive and full of antioxidants. So we have a variety here because a lot of people can't recognize them. We, we really concentrate a lot on food identification because a lot of people don't know what actual natural food looks like, like a pepper on a bush, or what time looks like before it ends up in the little glass bottle that you buy on the shelf. So that's what that one's about. Over here we have varieties of lettuce and we've put them in grades of healthier as you go down. So we've got the lettuce greens that you eat uncooked and they're all labeled so people can, uh, if they're visual learners, they'll be able to remember them. We also have the antioxidant rich powerhouse greens of all different kinds. Some from the mustard family, some from the crucifix for family, um, some from the beet family, and, um, and they're very easy to cook, and a lot of people don't know what to do with these. A lot of times they find them sort of underneath a cheese tray at a party, but they don't know what to actually do to eat them. It's actually better for you to eat the stuff under the cheese than the actual cheese. Well, cheese is delicious too. Not knocking it. I love it. So let's come on down. We've got a beautiful rainbow shard here. Um, and then down here, we're also, another thing that we're promoting is um, really easy things to cook that are quick. So all of our ingredients are 10, uh, 10 ingredients or less are our recipes and we've got um, some beautiful uh, pesto eggplant pizzas that we're doing but we're doing crostini style real small so you can take a french bread spread a little pesto on it all of this stuff was harvested here at our farm and a uh, little slice of this we've got a little portable oven back there so we can show everybody just how easy it really is and if you come on down here, we are at the Fall Harvest Festival, and we've got some gorgeous pumpkins and squashes. Um, we're doing a stuffed pumpkin with wild rice. As you can see, we have all of the ingredients available here, so people can see that you don't have to buy a lot to make it work. And we're also doing um, sort of some other things that people don't think to mix together. Um, coconut milk, organic pumpkin, some vegetable broth uh, makes a gorgeous soup that a lot of times people um, will buy pumpkin after the holiday because it's very inexpensive at that time you can get a can of pumpkin for 50 cents after Thanksgiving is over and you have you can make this soup really quickly for your family so we try to do the seed to table so that everybody gets whether you buy it in the store or you buy it um, or you harvest it from the farm you can make really great things out of it we're doing a couple of different kinds of apples here most people are familiar with the sweet apple dishes so we're doing a an apple and cranberry with ginger and cinnamon but we're also doing a sweet and savory sauteed apples and onions people don't think to put these kind of things together but they're absolutely lovely. So these were harvested actually from um, Brown's Organic Orchard um, outside of Tucson. So everything we have here came usually within 100 miles of, of what we're, we're eating today. And then we also have, this is one of my favorite tables, this is the grains table. A lot of people, you know, they hear that you're supposed to eat whole grains, but they don't really know what a whole grain is. And if you see here, this, these are whole wheat berries. Even bakers a lot of times don't know what a whole wheat berry looks like. So we do everything from taking the wheat shock, cooking the whole wheat berries, and showing products that wheat comes in so people understand exactly where their food comes from. Um, we also have, we're doing popcorn on the stove. There are many children who have no idea what a kernel of popcorn even looks like because they're used to getting it in the little white container that you put in and magically there's popcorn and all they see is just that white kernel or the, the white puff. Um, but actually we're, we're doing the popcorn here so that they know that what popcorn looks like 
We actually grow this here, um, and popcorn as you find it in the store, and then how you can do this at home without a microwave, you can actually do it on the stove. You can make it very healthy as well because we use extra virgin olive oil as the, the cooking oil and the dressing with salt and pepper, and it's just outstanding flavor. It's what we serve every kid and adult that comes to Tucson Village Farm, whether it's the Harvest Festival or our Growing Forward program. We always serve the popcorn because it's such a delight, and uh, people just love it. So that, and then also just take a look. We have our popcorn, and we have our shameless educators with corn hats. We will go to all lengths to train people how to eat well. So um, thank you very much for coming to our Harvest Festival today, and uh, to your help. called the chaff and these are the seeds inside you guys see these little orange things that's what we want to keep so you just kind of got to keep oh look at that you that's really good it's a grinding stone We don't want to eat all the garbage. 